Hello friends, my name is Evelyn Joy and welcome back to my channel. This is my homeschool, homeschool classroom tour. Walking in, over here I have um, a lot of like easy reader books over here and over here. Easy reader books, a bunch of books, and construction paper and a lot of coloring books. Um, I have art supplies over here, art supplies and, and uh, Play-Doh over here. And um, I got a lot of electric pencils and erasers, electric pencils from Walmart, erasers from Dollar Tree, I got crayons and scissors and glue, all sorts of things. Let's look at our curriculum, what I've got so far. Um, I'm going to be teaching Bible to my kids using this simple, beautiful Bible stories book. It's got some beautiful illustrations and it's gonna be awesome. For Bible verse memorization, we're gonna be using Esther's Cubby's book from last year. I'm not sure whether or not we'll be able to go to Awana this year, so we're just gonna learn out of it ourselves at home. Uh, that's got memory verses in it. Um, this is an example packet of Esther's just been practicing tracing lately. Um, over here are some of our workbooks. So, um, I got a lot of workbooks, obviously, kind of a collection, um, from Walmart and Dollar Tree. So, some of it's for Deborah, like pre-K, beginning sounds, pre-K, math, color by number. Both Deborah and Esther have been doing that. Numbers 1 to 12, that's kind of like for Deborah and Joshi. Tracing, that's for Deborah and Esther. Pre-K math, that's for Deborah. Um, and then this is some, this is an activity book for um, Esther. And we're getting into the stuff that's just for Esther. This is sight words workbook for Esther. Reading readiness book for Esther. Reading readiness book number two. Phonics workbook, Pinkalicious, like activities book with letters and shapes and all sorts of stuff. Um, math for first grade. I'm doing some of it. <laughs> uh, numbers. So this is the first grade workbook that I'm going to be working out of. Um, so it's got a lot of good concepts. Some of them that. Esther already knows and some of them that she'll be learning. This is the kindergarten workbook that I've been working through this summer. Um, so yeah, it's a good one. So I'm going to continue using that one for Deborah and for Esther. I got this three hole punch um, for using on workbook pages. So what I'm going to do is as they finish workbook pages, I pull them out and I hole punch them and I put them in this notebook. This notebook is where I'm keeping all of the information that is all of the stuff that she finishes. So I got this notebook at Walmart. I like that it's a zipper pocket, a zipper three ring notebook. Um, I have some scissors and highlighters here. This is the planner. So I'm, I'm writing down in this planner to keep track of all of the schoolwork or whatever classes they take online without school or um, piano lessons or Spanish practice with abuela. So here are all the workbook pages that they've done so far and I'm going to start, you know, writing the date on it. The ones that I didn't already write the date on, I, I went ahead and, anyway, I'm trying to get Esther in the habit of writing her name on every page. Um, but I went ahead and as I pulled them out, if she hadn't, then I did it. But um, just keeping track of like all of her workbook pages and stuff. Um, and then the other thing I've been doing, okay, I've got a bunch of folders I got for 15 cents at Walmart. Okay, so I've been pulling workbook pages out of these littler workbooks. Um, I've been pulling them out and three hole punching them so that I can easily just pick out some workbook pages that I want her to work on. And um, when she finishes them, put them in the front of the notebook. Thank you for taking a tour of my homeschool classroom. Have a lovely day.